All right, update on the brand boy. This is Envy Drain Sulfite. This is my Storm Brand slash Penance Brand Deep Delver. Uh, we are past 2000. I've done pff, the early part of my build. I got the 1200 solo. Since then, 1200 to 2000 has been a mix of probably 30% solo pushing, 70% pushing with an Orbot. I've been playing with my buddy from Germany. I just go to his server, Frankfurt. I'm on NA. He orbots me. I've played with a buddy uh, from Blissful who's on NA, or he's NA, but he's Canadian. And then I play with um, uh, this guy, Ja. And all three of those guys have been able to orbot me and just help me push. Um, basically, what we do when you play with an orbot is they scale the auras for me, and then I run other auras that scale my own damage that they don't buff, right? So, example, when I'm playing with them, I wouldn't run Wrath and Hatred. I would run Herald of Purity, Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder, and Skitterbots. And then I would, since I have an intuitive leap here, I take Discord Artisan. Herald skills have a 20% increased area of effect, 15% increased damage for each Herald affecting you, 10% reduced mana or reservation of Herald skills. So I'm able to run the Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Purity, <clears throat> and Skitterbots. Everything's chilled, everything's shocked. We're getting Fizz damage, Lightning damage, Cold damage. We convert. 90, I think it's 98% of our damage to cold, and then we have 20% quality, 20% quality here to do as much cold damage as possible. These each have hatred's increased aura effect, which actually does not benefit me when I'm with an aura bot. Um, so the goal there in the future is to drop these, since I don't care about my hatred aura effect because they're going to scale it way higher than I am, so their auras will override mine. So then I'll just get like, there's a cheap one. Like cold, extra cold damage added to spells, right? I think it's cold damage added to spells and attacks. So I would run those. There is kind of some things coming out. Crouching Tuna, Jess, Popcorn, his guildmate, uh, Har um, Soda. They've all kind of been theory crafting some new stuff for Penance Brand to just really scale the Fizz damage. Some people have been dropping Badge of the Brotherhood and picking up a proper amulet. I actually have a picture of my Discord. It is... Here's one he's running. This is one Tensuki's running. Uh, strength, Dex, Implicit. 13% increased cast speed. Gained 14% of physical damage as extra lightning damage. Damage penetrates Ellie resistances. Wrath has reduced mana reservation. Plus one of all lightning skill gems. Plus one minimum frenzy charge. The reason they want Wrath has reduced mana reservation. And I believe you get a mana reservation on the helm as well. This will allow you to run Herald of Purity, Wrath, Zealotry, and Hatred solo. Running all four of those scales your penance brand um, dramatically. Then you drop this. You end up dropping both of the void batteries, and there's a wand they're crafting. The wand is pretty expensive, though, so that's something i got to save up for for later as I get deeper and delve and make more money. Uh, and then I also need to craft a better helm. I want to get crit multi, LA, dam LA damage, power charge, minus nine cold, and then if I even have extra money, throw an abyss socket in it. Excuse me. Um, the reason why I say throw an abyss socket in is I'm not running skitterbots right now. This is just a wasted gem. This is just a placeholder, right? And then when I do play with the ore bot, uh, I, again, I have like other slots I can drop on my build that I don't necessarily need. I don't need spell echo here, right? I could drop this, three link these gloves, <clears throat> and throw the skitterbots here. Whatever, right? You see what I'm saying? I could throw like the skeletons here, something else that I don't have to have connected, allow me to put the ore back in the build. Um, yeah, so picked up the headhunter yesterday. This is my, I said in my other video, this is the very first league I've ever saved enough and had a, and, and know enough how to gain to properly make currency to buy things I want. Yeah, I've had 30, 40, 50 X before, but I've always bought little upgrades and or made another build to kind of enjoy PoE. This league, I'm trying to really hold currency and buy bigger upgrades. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I just picked up the cheapest one as none of my builds this league are focused on the headhunter. It's just an addition, so who cares about the life implicit as I'm, I'm not, I don't worry, I don't care. I'm not going to pay another seven exalts to get 40 life. Uh, I also have the Coward's Legacy. So I'm going to try and show you guys swapping these out and then also swapping in and out Stormbrand. Um, so I'll kind of do a, a couple notes for you down here, some easy ones. I also, when I play with my Orbot, need to come back in here and do a rebuild of my tree and drop the Vengeful Commanders and pick up something else. Um, 
maybe purposeful I, I don't know i need to talk to some other guys because there's a way that i can scale my damage further because these these three vengefuls are not benefiting me at all when my aura bot has on nine of them <laughs> so mine just don't these are wasted so i could almost now that I think about it i could probably like drop the point but again i have to kind of really sit down as i get deeper probably around the 3k range i'm gonna have to change my build to be able to push further all right let me do some notes for you guys this is with Headhunter on and Penance Brand. This is just, I can't believe I found this. This is a Sulfur Vents area, which is fun pathing. But again, these are no mods, so that's fantastic. And then hopefully, as we look over here or go deeper into the Sulfur Vents, we see some fat, uh, fractured fossils. All right, hold on, let me get this stuff set up. Alright, so this is Penance Brand, and I don't properly scale Penance Brand enough solo, so for smaller mobs, it does fine, but when I start getting into mobs that are like rares or have a higher HP pool, you'll see it start to kind of lag and keep exploding on them with like not, nothing really happening, and that's where I need to get, you know, more damage in the build to be able to, like, like right here, look at this rare, okay, now he dies, right? So I want to be able to get that to where I don't have an issue killing these more difficult uh, tanky monsters. So what I'm doing here is I'm just keeping the frost wall up, I'm spamming skellies to keep them off me, and then I'm spamming brand recall which triggers arcane surge. This mob is desynced. That one's real. Okay, so that was with the headhunter. Still haven't seen this is big area though. Okay, so we will drop the headhunter now and we will throw on Coward's Legacy. So this is gonna let us get headhunter buffs. This is probably better as a duo and worse as a single. Um, but I will put on this is gonna give me 30% more spell damage since we are cursed with vulnerability due to the belt. Belt says you count as low life while affected. Excuse me. You count as low life while you are cursed with vulnerability, you are cursed with level 20 vulnerability. Pain attunement. 30% spell damage while on low life. This belt makes us low life even though we're CI. So and again, for those that are going to comment or ask, why do you have such low ES? At this point in the delve, as you'll see in other videos, it doesn't matter. You're going to die. And it's not cost effective to scale both damage and defense. And eventually your defense just doesn't matter. So unless you're going to make your build immune, you're not going to be able to get enough defense and enough damage to clear the node. All right, so this is Penance Brand with Coward's Legacy. Take the headhunter off. Nope, how I got me. All right, so I'm gonna do that same. Oh, let's drop. Let's get her bots on. I'm going to do that same node, and since it's a smuggler stash, and it's single target at the end, and that's what's important to kill the, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this goes here. To kill the guys in the, um... Smuggler stash. I'm going to try this again, but with Stormbrand. You'll eventually, you'll immediately notice that as I'm clearing the mobs, the clear is a lot lower. As it doesn't, like, clear the, the trash in the way as fast. But that the single target will be much higher on the end mobs at the, at the uh, the smuggler stash itself. See how it just kind of Stormbrand hits the mobs and kind of ticks on them a couple times before they die? Okay. Nope. Let's give it another go. I, keep, I gotta turn this off. Put Wrath here. There we go. Alright. We're getting it this time. Put this on. It's a short node. There we go. Okay. So, cleared at that time. 
<laughs> no maps off that. All right. So I got I'm at the point you're seeing to where clear is still okay, getting path to path, but damage is starting to fall. I gotta sneeze. Oh my gosh, sneezing in my YouTube video. Okay. Ugh. But damage on the larger rares or the the end encounter is starting to fall. It's still doable as I did it. Took a couple tries, but it's starting to to, to fall back. So and Stormbrain is great, but I really like Penance Brand more. So I just need to get into my build and make a better helm. And this helm is actually doesn't even benefit me. Stormbrand has a chance to change additional time. I'm, I'm using Penance Brand. So I need to revisit the gear. However, since I bought the Headhunter, I am broke. I have basically some junk for sale, but no real currency. So I need to push today, make some money in the delve, save up, and then start approaching the gear and either upgrading amulet, upgrading helm, upgrading wands, um, getting a better tree situated and all that. But the build is a ton of fun. Brands are great. I definitely want to get some giga upgrades into the build and, and keep pushing because delve is, is awesome. And these, these two, three, you know, should be easy with no mods, but that's that. I'm going to do another video, guys. Another video for you guys on my aura bot. So you can play either role if you want to aura bot your buddy or have your buddy aura bot you. And I can show you guys that in the next video, all right? If you guys would, please give this a like, comment. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Helps get my videos some more views and more people coming into the, the channel. And then again, come into my stream, twitch.tv, enviously. Feel free to ask questions. I'm happy to help you guys out. Again, I'm new with this. I'm learning. I'm not some great Delver, great player. I'm just like you guys. I just like to play video games, and this has got my attention. This is fun. So feel free to ask me some questions. I can try and help you out with the build. Give it a shot. Yes, some of these items are very expensive. Uh, again, just, just start small and, and go from there, and then eventually it'll all come together. You, you don't create these builds at once. You know, they, they, they grow over time. They're dynamic. As you make more money, as you get better, you get the more items, and you don't just go out and buy the build and slap it together, all right? So... Can like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.